<clears throat> okay. I like it when they don't have anything going on at the very beginning. Because <sighs> it allows me to set everything up, but not get going. Throw my cables everywhere. Okay, set this over here. All right, I think we're good and ready, and we're live, so yay. So hey everybody, this is Be With Forever The Nerd. Um, we are gonna be playing some Firewatch because I've had this game sitting um, in my library forever and I haven't done anything so finally getting to play it all right cool that means we're definitely online all right uh so yeah I've not played this I've been wanting to play it since uh, it was announced because it looked cool and I just have it until now because I finished layers of fear 2 I don't feel like running through Detroit again, and I don't know where uh, my physical copies are. They're boxed up still somewhere. So we'll play this. <clears throat> um, I always check the settings first for that reason right there. Okay. All right, so let's let's start it. Panic Incorporated. All right, so 1975. You see Julia. Oh. She's about your age, age late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. <clears throat> you are drunk. Ha. Hmm. So, what's your, no, you know, major? Or, you, you're pretty. Ah, uh, let's go with this option. You slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she might... <laughs> worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. No. And Julia becomes lost in the woods, never to be seen again. Oh, it's a backpack. Magnetic. It's gonna sound weird me saying this, but I like how this controls. It's very, uh... Very smooth. <clears throat> You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Get a dog. 
There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julie is in love. She wants to bring it in with, bring it with her to class. Blah. There's also an intimidating but generalized German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Uh, we want the Shepherd because Shepherds are awesome. You adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Uh, Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. Oh, like my gigantic beast over here. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I had some. A couple little idiots. <laughs> Um, that would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably, be it's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. <clears throat> Something terrible happens. Can I bring the tire? High fire danger today. Thoroughfare trailhead. Do not forget to check in. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Warning. Thoroughfare thorough mm, thorough trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Uh oh. And uh, known to fireworks. Okay. It's very pretty. Nineteen eighty. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad or you ignore her. Um. Maybe. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. <clears throat> 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Uh, you pose and flex like He-Man, or you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Uh, model. Very nice. I love the colors, oh my god. This is so pretty. Which, uh, from what I've heard, that's what everybody says about this game. That's why I never- oh, birds. I never wanted to get it on PC because it wouldn't- it wouldn't look nearly this good. Two forks. Oh, eight more miles still. <clears throat> uh oh. Whoop. Okay. <clears throat> it's so pretty! 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from all- from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife! <clears throat> <clears throat> mayhem runs away. May- me boo fuck! Duck dog! Julia yells. She gets flustered and- has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. He just goddamn face him. <clears throat> your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julie asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 
1984. Plans to have kids get la waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Assist as associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Ugh. Ugh. I can't tell her not to take a, a great job, but that's a... That's a big commute. You ask if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. Um, you tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it or make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Let's, let's go talk to somebody. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. We both decide to keep it a secret for now. <clears throat> That's a Coleman. Or maybe it says Coldman. He's married. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, he's naked. <laughs> I did not expect him to be naked. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. I knew it was going to be sad. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with a with 24-hour care. A home. It sits f with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. Ah... We're going to take care of her. Right? Yeah. Can I go this way? Nope. Blocked. there. Are you friend or foe? That's some pointy antlers you got. Rah! <laughs> it is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her and she can't do anything without you. 
When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you've put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. Uh, you put a chair in front of the bedroom door or you trust that she sleeps like a rock. Either way is not good. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. That's my year. What? Oh boy. One night you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a .10 or are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. <clears throat> Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Told you it was gonna be sad. This is pretty sad. It's loading a lot of sadness. I'm a fire watcher. <sighs> Trying to open up my can and I got no fingernails. <sighs> oh, that hurt. Yeah. All right. Are there spooky things out here? I don't think so. Spooky. It's a tiny tower. This is thoroughfare tower. Come in. That radio is being uh, powered by a pine cone. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> Hold L2 to activate. Ah, I see. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? <laughs> that's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Um. Oh, I have a time limit. Uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow, and you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Mm, that's Bravo, super yummy. Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, 
folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. We got the job. <laughs> First day on the job. I think that'd be kind of cool and equally terrifying to be there for like a week. I wouldn't want to go out. I don't like that thing armed to the teeth. Okay, you can see me. Desk lamp. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get up. I can't. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing what? Fourteen hours of sleep. Chloe talks. Yeah. Jesus, I guess it's what, six? Six forty-five. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! <laughs> language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Where's north? Are those fucking fireworks? What? Oh. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. <laughs> Go down there and set them straight. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just... Make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a room to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Okay. Oh. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, so can we take our pack? We can take that pine cone. Okay, um. Alright, let's, uh. Let's go beat those guys up. Even though we said we weren't going to, we're totally gonna beat those guys up. Hiya! Man, that is quite the zoom you've got there, buddy. Is there a run? Read. I need to go this way. There we go. I knew there was a run button. We'll beat those guys up. Vault! Nah.
Okay. What's with pine cones? Oh, um. I guess put it back. It's panko. That's cool. You can. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, put the back. Nicely. All right. See, I can't tell where where they are now. Okay, I guess we'll find out. Well, it sounds like oh, that's the sun. Never mind. This vista is incredible. Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. There's a canyon and then the rest of, well, everything. You should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. Sounds like it's this way. Yeah, we're getting closer. Ah, so they they are down there. Good. Repel. Okay. Did it just get really dark really quickly? Oh. Ow. Thanks for the old robe. It did get dark. Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, All the things. Be careful for Christ's sake. Ah, I need a rope. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno, just stopped coming out. You got eaten by a bear. The heck? Ah.
Alright, got that cleaned up. Oh. There's some packs. What you got in your backpacks? We'll take these. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. Just found where they're hanging out. Take them. Well, I put out their fire. Man, I would have named that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. Oh, Whiskey. Ferret or Irish. Save for later. Yeah, I will take that. I do like me some whiskey. Convinsgate. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feed away. Oh, nice. I get to beat them up now. I probably should have called in the uh, fireworks and everything. Oh, two pairs of clothes, huh? Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? <laughs> Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Oh my. I found a bra. <laughs> a nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. <laughs> uh, there are uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> I like how it holds it like this. <laughs> you, you're not gonna. You're not gonna. No, I won't let me pick them up again. Another bra. Another pair of panties. There's a. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? <laughs> Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. I like this. Okay. <laughs> Teens, they are drunk. Hey, hey, you fucking kids! Hey, you fucking fatso! Leave us alone! <laughs> Leave us alone! You watch Boombox? Because of that, I'm taking your damn boombox. No uh, noise 
guidelines, ordinances, or rules out here? Uh, no. But that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. I can't pick it up, can I? And yes, we are taking this back with us. Ah, damn it. I gotta get them all. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold muscle light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. That just sounds like a gross name. I wonder if I can go look through their packs. <laughs> so bad. Still taking their boom box. Okay. West and then okay so I'm right here it's a long ways away Ugh. I've got to listen to that for a very long time then it's coming back with us though They're all gone. It's the same song. Big deal. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Okay. Alright, let's see where we are right now. 
Well, we're almost there. Alright, come on, boombox. Onward. Scary. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning. It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. My back itches. Uh, I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice. All that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Oh. <laughs> No, open it back up. Oh, I'll take that. Oh. <laughs> cool. A uh, horn. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why is that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers, and secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Well, I can't put it in my pack, so... Oh, let me close that. Come on, Boombox. We are friends now. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine. <laughs> Damn it. Looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? <laughs> they never come out. Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. <laughs> Stay there, boombox. Uh. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I, I don't think so. Henry, there's, there's something I, something someone should have told you about this area. Uh. <laughs> okay, I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Still creepy. Whee! Got his boombox slung in his back.
<laughs> oh, I thought I was falling backwards. <laughs> Okay. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas and well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so what about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could <laughs> never. Uh what can I do for you? Well my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No, how the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Sorry, boombox. <laughs> what just happened? It's hard to... Wait, what it? There was something. Hey. Someone broke in. They what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Can I shut this? Okay, I put in a call. What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... Forever and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache, I'll feel safe <laughs> in this little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was <laughs> a bad idea. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Oh, there we go. We made it through day one. And we got a uh, free boombox that plays the same song over and over and over. Hi, welcome in, Sputz. The cute little kitty cats. Get some. Oh, I'm so. <laughs> I'm glad the. Uh... Hey, wake up. Yeah, I'm awake. Glad the boombox stopped. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Uh, I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It 
it's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. <laughs> Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, alright. <laughs> okay. Um... Can I do anything? I'm just gonna leave the books on the floor. Put them on the bed. Close enough. <laughs> Glory. Yeah, also close enough. The singular mind. That one made it. Death strikes at two. Birds of Wyoming. Thermos. Okay, he's just gonna trash the place. Dish soap. No, he's just gonna throw it. Where'd my coffee go? Two orcs map. Interesting. Um, this. This is weird. I only saw it because it was going nuts. What's in here? Anything? Ate the hard way. I don't know what that means, but okay. So welcome in, Spuds. I don't believe I've seen you in here before. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so I gotta go. Oops. Um. Dad away. Yeah, I see. Okay. Alright. Oops. Let's see what's out here today. I need to go down that way. Yeah. Oh, a stretchy boy. I thought I heard something. that happen? I went the wrong way. It's all smoky down here. Part fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The 
things are cold in mm. Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot of time with our dog, Mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So, why not call him Chevy? Well, we, uh, we walked out of the shelter and there was some graffiti on a trash can and it said, Dicko Mayhem. And uh, he walked over and peed all over it and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story? It is what it is. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Okay, so... Hey, uh, I don't think so. Why, have you? shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. What is going on here? Let's see. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. All right, now we're on the right path. It's so pretty. Look at all the wildlife. By wildlife, I mean trees. Um. Nope, that, that is death. Alright, uh, down here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> this is weird. <clears throat> There's some spooky fog. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Oh, sorry, Hank. It's not my name. It's weird. I see telephone poles. Uh, I can 
can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. <sighs> Three. found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Uh, did I just come from this way? Oh wow, I've actually uh, come quite a ways. And yeah, I don't know how long I'll be uh, able to keep playing at night. I am all sorts tired. And for some reason my nose is super stuffy tonight. I see a thingy over here. I want to claim it. Meh. Yeah, treasure. Nah. Yeah. At least they're all the same number. That's uh handy. Oh yeah. Pine cones. Six feet down under. Huh. Okay. <gasps> Report turtle. Oh, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Turt Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. Oh, I get to keep him. He looked happy about it, too, so... It's all good. Uh, where am I going? Do you hear that? I think I can. Oh, there's something else over there. I don't think I can die, yeah? Oh, not. 
Ugh. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Hmm. Ooh so we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Pick it up. Pick it up. That one's embedded in the rock. That one's floating. What kind of beer cans are these? down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Do they mess with anything? I'll look around. Wow. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. <sighs> They're okay. big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. You don't leave that there is a uh trail marker hmm how much beer did they bring with them by the way Any beer cans? Hey, say, buddy. Wait, what was that? I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm -hmm. Screwed until you clear yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Beh. Okay. Nope. Okay.
can trail has gotten cold. This is the way I came. Hmm. When you're sitting there and just all of a sudden you just get slapped by sleepiness. That's where I'm at. Oops. See, I keep wanting. I'm <laughs> Layers of Fear 2 has got me trained. L button is to run. Um. There's a supply drop. Eh, go away. Whee! Alrighty. Oops, why do I keep doing that? I know why. I got sidetracked. I don't think they're up here. But there is this. Supply cash. One, two, three, four. Yeah. It's giant. Empty, empty, and empty. Oh, goody. Hmm. Okay. Get off that. Nope, I'm not going that way. Not yet. I'm sure we will in due time. Keep thinking I see stuff, but no, it's just. Oh, how did I miss that? It's me being insanely tired. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. More importantly, what happened to the owner? Brian Goodwin's backpack. Nice. Well, nice. I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this! This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left. Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, 
Wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? I don't know where they went. I'm getting a little too tired to focus. Um, I guess we just keep going this way. If anything, we'll, uh... Make it back to the, uh... Whatchamacallit? The tower. Oh. <gasps> oh, boy. Um... Get down. Oh. Did I see something? I do. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Cool. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. I'm trying to stay awake, guys. I really am. <laughs> Fossilized claw? What? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Holy shit. Maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Uh why is there a raptor claw in the box? No, put it in the box. There you go. Um Oops. Guess that was Aurora. What does she have? Huh? Oh. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Uh devastating especially for her you can understand and for you anyway everything she worked for was taken away and that was it yeah i'm sorry to be such a downer don't 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 even i'm happy to listen and you know we'll try to have some fun this summer i promise Oh, cool. Thank you, Dio, Dolio, LOL, for the uh, follow. Uh, why is this tree burned? At least there's cute little baby trees. 
And nothing to report on that. Okay. Um. Is that a fence? Is there a Bigfoot's out here? Big feet? Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah, it looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh, jeez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. <laughs> Thousands, even full percentage points of the global hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. <laughs> Who would do that and why? Haha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high quality information. Okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. I'm getting lost. Okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to hold it together and make it. I'm I'm barely holding on. So, oh. You meet? I just heard it's. And I thought it was a. Met in a bar. A snake. The birthplace of modern snake. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. That's right. Oh, that brave. One. I was drunk. That's okay. Yeah. Hopefully we got plenty of rope and not just a uh, couple uses worth. see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. That voice sounds familiar. <laughs> I'm trying. Not a long drop. Hardly anything. Oh, it's a another one. I believe I've looked at this. Yeah. I don't even. Oh, 
Okay, so it's this way. We'll get to the thing calling the smoke, and then I'm going to have to call it good. I can't. Oh, we're really close. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you going to go be with her? Just oh. go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it. Right now, I'm trying to hunt down some vandals, and I don't even know what I'm going to do when I find them. I'm not thinking very far ahead. You should go see her. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. I'm trying. I'm trying. This is what happens when you get old. You become grandma and just nod off while you're playing. <sighs> Damn. All right, you people. Do we need to go down there? Probably. I'm coming to beat you up. I'll tell you. Tell you what. I'm so tired. What time of day is it? I thought it was morning. Why don't I see a bunch of, uh, uh, wildlife? Look at that when I get back to the the tower. Where am I? Damn buttons, I think I just need to change that. <laughs> lush words. Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years through fire. Can you Weird. Are you actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Cool. Found it. I'm playing in it. I need to sleep. But it's just so pretty. Getting there. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Okay, let me consult the map. 
Oh, I'm way down there. Ouch. Okay, so there seems to be... Okay, so the dots are where I I went. Gotcha. Ah, oh, there's a beer... There's a lot of stuff. Stop it. The crap is that? Uh, there's some cloth down here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Uh... It... Hi! How are you, capybara? I'm barely holding it together. <laughs> okay, so yes. How is it going? Can I climb the waterfall? No. Yeah, same here. Not as hot as it has been, thankfully. Um, okay, so I'm going the right way now. But uh, still pretty miserable and hot. No, I'm just, I'm tired. Wait, what? Where? Delilah, that's not normal. Why is that tree just floating there? Uh, why are there floating trees here? What happened? Did something not load? What? It's a campsite. Okay. Um, oh. Oh boy. Hey, so I found the campsite. It doesn't look good here. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. And they're not there? Yeah. And the thing is, their entire campsite is wrecked. What happened? Yeah, uh... Honestly, it, it looks like it could have been a bear. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I, I need to be honest with you. If I find a dead body out here, <laughs> I'm sick. Well, don't yak. Just look around and let me know what you find. Actually, you've got that camera, right? Yeah. It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Oops. How do you take? Eh. Okay, I don't need. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Sounds crazy, but even a bull elk, if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. Maybe it's a Wendigo. There's a note here. It looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. I see Dear Psycho. Ah. <sighs> 
Hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. Stealing panties is gross out. Uh, you're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and you're so going to jail. Hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. I did. I took it all the way back to, uh, my, uh, my little house. My little tower. Oh, um... No. no well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. <laughs> That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom. I thought trip. about it. No, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. I thought about throwing it in the lake. No! I was not done. Ugh. I wanted to look at more stuff. Um, no. After she called me a dick or, or said I had a, a tiny dick or whatever, uh, I decided they weren't uh, keeping the boombox, so I took it all the way back with me to my tower and dropped it at the bottom of the steps and... <sighs> it, uh... Well, there's a board somewhere. I remember that. Um... I forget yeah. what I was saying. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Waste. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, but you honestly, thank you guys. Okay. For hanging out and and just chilling with me, I mean that's y'all are the the biggest prize. I mean, I it's hot. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's not very uh, you know PC or whatever they say. Oh my God, you are the whitest man! <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. Lucas, it's been forever. Oh, I gotta uh. Tuxedos. Tuxedos <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I was not expecting anything. You met, um, I got my first check from Twitch today. Um. my eye and down my cheek and you only wear tuxes yeah <laughs> are you a freaking bond villain yes I, uh, I, I get up to some stuff yeah well thank you thank you no well, but honestly thank y'all thank y'all for hanging out and spending your time watching me play games very poorly <laughs> this is um I'm playing firewatch right now and trying so hard to stay awake uh, tired. You look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just, you think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. That Thank scared you. the shit out of me. Get what you need? Oh, the check? Absolutely. Yeah. 
um, Twitch sent me a check finally um, for being an affiliate and I, I got paid. I got paid for doing this. <laughs> um, hi, Turt Reynolds. Oh, you're so happy looking. Okay. Put you back. Put you back in your house. Yeah, for a second, I thought that was like the top of a kid's head and in a, uh, moving around in a, like, a kid pin. Um, very. I'm rich and famous, I wish. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, uh, that money's going straight back to the, uh, why is this here? Straight back to the channel. Um, I'm going to be buying some stuff to upgrade things a little bit and finally get, I'm getting closer to where I want to be what I've been wanting to do since uh, I started doing this. So I'm pretty excited. Yes. <gasps> Twitter decided to die. Yes. And ticka 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 ticka. Uh, what I. Stop rolling. What did I roll? Do you have to stream a certain amount of hours? Uh, you do. You have to hit affiliate. Um, I can't remember what all um, you need to be affiliate. Um, fine, stay on the floor. Uh, I believe you have to stream for a certain amount of hours per month. You have to have so many followers and you have to have a certain, like an average number of followers or uh, watchers per, for a month. Like, I think it's like an average of three watchers a month, like for the entire month. Um, it's, I've been, I've been affiliate for a year and uh, what the crap is that? Yeah, I didn't think so either. I mean, like I, I went into this thinking, okay, this is going to be a business. I'm going to make money from this. And then after that, I, I mean, after doing it for a little while, I'm like, I just, this is more fun if I don't take it seriously and just see what happens. Um, yeah, yeah, you get affiliate, but after that, like, people, um, give you bits and your subscriptions and, uh, all that kind of stuff. It adds up, and at the end of the year, if you go over a certain amount of money, they take out the affiliate fee, which is, like, what, $30, and they give you the rest, and I gotta check for the rest, um... So yeah, I was uh, pretty stoked. Oh, he's happy. Um, where did I find that board? Where'd the drawer go? Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing this, I actually hit two years in uh, June, and I was going to have this whole big thing, well, my, my two year mark was in June, signing up and doing this was back in May for two years, um, I was going to have this big thing, I was going to stream my, like, my favorite three favorite games from the past year, because that, that's what I did the year before. Stream my three favorite games and end the month starting off um, Layers of Fear 2. But we had to move and that was uh, way more important than uh, playing video games on Twitch. Which is fine. It's, it's done now. Um, still getting settled but we will get there. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, well, you have you have a whole year to um, to get to that that thirty dollars. Um, so it's not like right off the bat. You have a year, and it's uh, as long as you're on and trying to be active, it it happens, I guess. I mean, just even people throwing out bits here and there, um, it it adds up. But yeah, it's. Um, but yeah, th it would really suck if, uh, I didn't make the $30, which I didn't think I did. I didn't think I, I was going to make $30. I was just, just going and doing, um, but yeah, honestly, if you're trying to get into this, don't. Don't get serious. Don't be serious about it. Just have fun with it. Otherwise, you're just going to get upset. I mean, cuz there was there was a couple of days I would get on and no one no one got on to watch. And I got really bummed out and I would play for like 30 minutes and log off. But you just you can't take it seriously. Just have fun. I mean, you're you're on here playing video games. Which, I mean, this is what I do in my spare time. And I mean, what you see me doing, this is, this is me playing video game. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it for this. I'm doing it because, I mean, this is the time I would... Oh, there's a wooden board. I would get on and play video games. And it just so happens I just added Twitch in the mix and get to hang out and chit-chat with y'all and just be stupid. <laughs> And for some reason, you know, oh, it's a spigot. <gasps> okay. And I saw a fire bucket up there. That doesn't bode well. Um. Well, well, thank you. And that's, and that's, uh, that's another thing. Don't stream what people want you to. What'd you hop over? Um, yeah, just play play what you want. I mean, this is this is your time. Um But yeah, like like I said, if you're trying to do this as a business, you've got the wrong mindset. Which I mean if if you can do that and I mean it's it wasn't the mindset for me. I'm sorry, I'm babbling, I'm very tired. I was about to log off and then everybody came on, so damn it. <laughs> so if y'all are gonna stay on or y'all are gonna be on, I'll stay on. Um y'all woke me up. Everybody coming in. Uh, where are these other boards? But yeah, just, I like to stream, I like to play what I want to play. <laughs> it's fine. Y'all are the ones that have to listen to me ramble. And sniffle. I don't know what's going on with my allergies tonight. I need one more board. And I found a board. Oh, here's a board. And a cinder block. He just picks it up in his hand. He has monster hands. No. Put that down, Hulk. All these wooden boards everywhere now. This is why you don't play games while you're tired. Get Zerta. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I was fine. Well, I've been kind of like I don't know if y'all saw. Well, I know you saw my uh, my Twitch or Twitter post. Yeah, I really did cry at work. It was very brief. Um, 
I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh. Smoke! Yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay. Um... What was I say? Oh, no. I did cry very briefly. Um, I... My brain has gotten to this weird default where something unexpected happens. It's just tears. It's just like... I call it surprise cry. I don't know. I've gotten weepy as I've gotten older. And, uh... Not crazy about it either. Okay. I need to read these. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man Ron. Be excited. Yeah, I mean I was super excited. Um it just I got excited and cried for a second and people came in the back room and looked at me funny. I was like, eh, I'm fine. Don't don't look at me. <laughs> Uh, I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for L.O.'s. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when he saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Oh. <laughs> I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course, we're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron. Okay. Ah! Um, missing person, Mitch Michaels, age 31, 6'2", 165, short brown hair, distinctive facial hair. Uh, Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981 by Forest per, uh, Service personnel. He's not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location, Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981. Uh, okay. We have not seen this person. Note from Dave. Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked hiking in the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. <laughs> Okay, so Dave and Ron are seem to be writing back and forth. <laughs> Ugh. I need for that direct deposit to hit. But I'm not touching the, the Twitch money. That's that's money I get from Twitch goes right back into my channel. Um Dave, hey -o. I got your note about needing to talk. I'm sorry I didn't track you down. I've been looking for you all day. I figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers you know, amigos professionals. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy but I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. There are a few people who've gone missing over the years that you'll find. Yeah? Have you have you played this one through uh, Capybara? I'll just call you Cappy. Um, okay, I guess I'm ready for okay. it. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment. Oh to yeah. This National Forest Safety. Not really. <laughs> I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Uh. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. Oh. <gasps> really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. Oh, that chair. Winter in my thigh this morning. Oh. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Mm. Oh, what is it, sleepy buddy? Is your face itchy? Hey, come here. Come here, itchy face. What's wrong with your eye? Come here. You're just gonna lay there? 
Side boy woke up with a scratch in his eye and he keeps squinting out of it. <gasps> Sandwich! Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Looks like it. I might never leave. Well, uh, I call up with some bad news. Ah, uh, what? Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported oh. missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Ooh. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me. You know that. Don't get defensive. <laughs> it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Uh. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Come here, buddy. Day fifteen. That uh that jumped. Say buddy. Come here. Come here, big boy. Come here. He said no, he's tired. Hey big girl. Oh now. Hey. Come here. Come here. Come here. Henry, wake up. The heck was that? Oh, I forgot I threw books all over the place. Hey, come here. Okay. Nothing in your eye. Sorry. Um, what do you want? What do you want? Oh. Hey, you big dumb idiot. Uh, she's drunk. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. It's Julia. Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Hmm, sure it'll be fine. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Yeah, that must be Delilah's uh house. Tower, whatever you want to call it. Day thirty-three. At least the time's going by quickly, even though he's I don't know whether to call that a dream or a hallucination. Who's blah, blah, blah. <laughs> hallucination? Beep, beep. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. Yeah. <laughs> we're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Miserably unfair. Anyway, oh my god. When you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> Well then. So, like, two weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. 
I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... I did, I think? I this guy, Javier. I can't, I can't remember if I got it for free or if I'd actually bought it. Either way, it's on the PS4. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. I'm sure I was going to marry Javier. I think I've got it on a couple of things, actually. Also, a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut hmm. loose. I think so. I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, hmm. take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Thank you. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I think I got on Epic. Um, she's a heifer. Where am I going? Doop. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes. Holy moly! I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the Greater Yellowstone <laughs> region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. <laughs> Man. She reminds me a lot of Roz from um, Fraser. Her voice does, anyway. Am I in the right spot? No, I'm not. Give me the supplies. Give me. Give me. Ooh. Yeah. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Sixty-four. <sighs> Yeah, I've I've been wanting to play this game. I couldn't even tell you how long. Like when I heard it came out and saw and I saw it, I was like, oh that looks like a cool little game. And never bought it. I don't know why. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was.
just kidding. Mm, no, you were not. We are sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, oh, yeah. The, name? June. the June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? I'm scared. What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Hmm. That I have. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. A little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Don't drink fire? tequila, kids. Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. Uh-oh, she's getting the feels. I really available, but... I want you to know, well, maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... I'm married. Like, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. Uh... We could sit outside. We could talk. We got these radios. We could, um, you know. Oh, you need to go to bed. We could just watch this fire. It's gonna burn for a long time. Getting a little uh, touchy feely there. Go to bed. I'm liking it so far. Not a whole lot going on. I'm still expecting something really scary to happen You're though. Like <gasps> it's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. <laughs> That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. <laughs> huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. I can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like... I like walking simulators. I mean, they've gotta have an interesting story and... They gotta be pretty looking. And this one has done both. I'm liking the story. It's... There's humor in it. And where am I going? Um... I like it. And I am I am not opposed to walking simulators. I mean, I, one of my favorite oh, there's a note. One of my favorite spooky games of all times is uh there's Layers of Fear. And that's that's what you you just walk. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something I can call it in. Hey, baby. Or Petey. Uh, it's holy shit. 
What's what? going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. I am too. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, yeah. But also, you know, devastating. Like, uh, I really wanted to like um, Everyone's Gone to the Rapture. And I just... <sighs> What'd she call me? I just couldn't. Um, where am I going? I, I really tried to like, um, everyone's gone to the rapture and it was just so slow. I found a walkie talkie out here too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. We'll get it if you haven't already and then we'll figure out whose it is. We'll do. the heck? Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Yeah, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? Hey, I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, I... I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's... It's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. <laughs> I think so. It's north of the lake. It looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I don't want to go in there. I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what... What you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words it's with gone. initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer... Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is... What is falling? ...believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Okay, so now that that's over, hi Elpish! It has been forever since I've seen you. How are ya? And, uh, yeah. Um, this, oops. That's not what I told you to do story in um, Everyone's Gone to the Rapture was it's slow. It's very slow. Um, Ron got some bad news by comms. So hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say the budgets are being are being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you could have been there. Guess you, you might have hung up, got hung up. I don't know. Um, oh, keep it. 
Yeah, um, what was it, Layers of Fear? Because that was, that was good. Layers of Fear was good. Detroit Become Human was fantastic. Old sweater, huh? Yeah. Well, if you ever feel like you want to go back and watch them, they will be on here. Or you can go to my YouTube page. That's if you want to watch them. Um, if not, feel, I mean, definitely play them. Well then. <laughs> uh, the Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Um, I've, I haven't really heard anything about that one. Um, and I haven't heard the second one, of the, the Payne's Creek killings. I haven't heard that one at all. Do I have enough rope? Yes. Um. There's one, I don't know if it's by the same company, it's, it looks very similar. Um, what remains of Edith Finch? Or maybe it's just the, the names are somewhat similar. I've seen a little bit of that one and that looked cool. Um, I got that one somewhere. I think it's on here or it might be through Epic. I don't remember. Um, Fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck hey, is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Oh, Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. they left the gate unlocked. Pretty low, I'd imagine. Well, I mean, there's a padlock right here, but... Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I'm still waiting on, like, Bigfoot or something to jump out. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. I mean, the dude I can pick up can a cinder block no with one hand and throw it like it's you an a styrofoam cup. Okay, medicine wheel. Oh yeah, uh, I hadn't really, really, it's way down there, I hadn't really, um, read into it. I I watched a little bit of uh, Birdcage play it. And I was like, okay, this is starting to look interesting. I'm going to stop. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, that's, that's Vanishing of Ethan Carter. I, I just, I don't know anything about it. Um, but it, it looked fairly interesting. What? Uh-uh. No barking. Sigh. Leave her alone. She's in bed. <laughs> Say, boy. Leave her alone. Okay, buddy. 
giant baby. Oh, sorry, 12.52? Y'all woke me up for a whole another hour. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually really do want to play um, What Remains of Edith Finch. It looks like there's a little bit more to it than just walking around. But I might be mistaken. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I'm going the right way. It just doesn't seem like I'm going the right way. Okay, I know where I am. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Okay. Ugh. E.T. 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 So how long is this game? I've heard it's about... It's only about, what, four hours? It's fairly short. Which is fine, because I mean, if it can last me a weekend stream, then perfect. Hopefully, by Wednesday, I can find my uh, physical games. They're around here somewhere. Ah, damn it. Sounds about right? Okay. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that just sounds like it was trying to trying too hard to be something bigger. Nah, I'm not achievement hunting. I'm just I'm playing it to play. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna be playing next. Twenty-five hour stream. Uh, I started out like that um, at the beginning of this, but now I'm just like, okay, let's let's get stuff going. Ooh. No, that I will do in Bluebird hey, Games. I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Coca-Cola. I've got one. Oh, um... Should we call the cops? Or it's the watered down. And, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, what are you hiding? I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp. <laughs> okay. Keep your radio close to you. Really nice. Want to spend a week and play with real-time sleep breaks and snacks. <laughs> That'd be cool. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah. Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are a lot
Lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour gotcha. on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. You know, it kind of bugs me I haven't seen any wildlife. I've heard them. Yeah, the oh, there's birds, but you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. What's the sneaky sneak back here? What's with the sneaky sneak? a hiding spot? I don't see anything on the ground. It's weird. <laughs> Super secret bathroom. Um, okay. Jump the fence! Or not. Just run through it. <laughs> Get off the rock. Get off the rock. Thank you. It does do some weird stuff in this game. <laughs> get caught on rocks a lot and I like to jump over nothing. And then there's the floating trees. I'll get that. Okay. Whew, sorry. Ron, really wish the powers that could issue us radios didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets the, that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or her mom. Been sitting at the spot for a whole... A while now, think I'm thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through this bottle of fives instead. I don't know. I mean, I could. Wow, I can hold it a lot closer. Uh, miss you, Dave. <laughs> That's a lot closer. Terminal 7. A lot of Richard Sturgeon. I like how he throws it, or drops it by just throwing it on the floor. Ah! I'll put that back. Thanks for putting that back. The accidental savior. Oh, more toilet paper. Jane Erie. One chance to die. He's not very good to books. And... And what's with all the pine cones? Um... No. I found where 
they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they would use a extra body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Thank <laughs> Oh. I need to head east. Not west. The crap, girly. It's like a cat hiss. What the? Oh. There's some old snowmobiles out here. Ow. That's crazy. Bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. If he made it back. Whoa. Strip these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. And that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Interesting. Um, what happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. <laughs> oh. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Uh, there's an old <laughs> pond out there's here. There's a pond here. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah. I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, <laughs> you know, anywhere. Yeah, it's... That's such a bad name. Oh boy. Camp Arapaho. Camp Arapaho. Arapaho. Arapaho yeah. sounded better. It's been out there since the fifties. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Is that right with me? Beware weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone. Even kittens. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. <sighs> Good plan. Ah, so I'll go up this way. Yeah? So I need northeast. That way. I keep doing the run button for layers of fear. <clears throat> Dump it. So, <laughs> yeah, she's like, yeah, there's not a whole lot of electricity here. I'm just, I'm sitting here playing crossword or doing crossword puzzles. That's a weird noise. Please, can I cross? Well... I mean... I could... Me, personally, could easily climb through this. Just saying. Hey, <sighs> um, okay. 
Okay. Oh, Pong. I think, I think now it's like early 90s. Oh, wait, what did, what did it say? <laughs> Long drop down, there we go. Because I think no, it's no, it's at least 1989. Look, it's a thing. Um, okay, the totem pole. Hello. You ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to pre. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I'm a nerdy hobby. Oh, I take that back. <laughs> what type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Oh. Ah, that's the, uh... Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? <laughs> no, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. He's the one that designed the map. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Okay. Um, what am I doing? I am trying to find the... the firemen's. Look, all the firefighters are gone. And they left their axe! Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the back country and getting through that fence. Mm. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Oh. Better not hit me again. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Poverty Station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery... <laughs> my mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down... No! <laughs> and now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Honey badgers. Horned toads. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. Maybe Turk was an escapee. <gasps> and not Turk. Clipboard with our conversations on it is just what recreation for them. I'm just messing it's around. Turt. Somebody is obviously up to something. Turk's still listening here. to d device. There's something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but that was weird. Says that there's something bad going on. I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Ah, uh, don't say things like that, please. <laughs> There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Didn't you get the axe? Oh, I didn't pick it up. I'm fading again. Dang it. Thank you. I'm a lumberjack. That's what, that's all <laughs> that's all the song you get. <laughs> Pwah.
Get out of here. Ugh. Okay. Pork pie. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to, yeah. Um, just get back to the tower. God damn it. And, uh, call it good from there, because I... I can't. I'm tired. And I gotta go um, to some yard sales tomorrow. Because we need a dining table. Because we don't have one. <gasps> doop, 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 doop. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not out quite yet. I'm gonna get to the tower and then call it good. If I remember how to get there. Yeah. I I hope to have good luck tomorrow. There's one in our neighborhood. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. <laughs> just shovel it, like scraping it off the counter into my mouth. Okay, so let's I mean, that's kind of how I eat anyway. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. You just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout. That freaked me out. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to run back because I couldn't find my way back. Oh my god. That was the scariest thing on here so far. Oh my god. Did not like that. Oh. Einstock. Mm. I like the hairy. This is two forks calling you for the oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. I like that. Hello, I like sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Oh. sleep a wink last night and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sun up. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. She's a fake. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. No info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great, just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure, it's the, uh... No, you don't need to tell me, just, um... Internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. It's a trap! Let's go. Fine, let's go get trapped. Where is this trap? Oh boy, he's excited or scared. I can't decide. Fire break. Oh, Cottonwood Creek. Oh. 
all the way down? Okay, that's not too far. Um. <coughs> okay, fine. Okay. Ah, I can't put this down. This has done nothing besides be in my way. Where's the door? There's the door. Uh, put that back on. Whoa, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Did I say something? Oh, hop over. Right, we're going to hop over. Oh, he actually did it. A lot of times he does that animation, but nothing happens. Um, so, south... Uh, actually, just south. say thankfully it doesn't take too terribly long to get places in this game. that I know it's just ambiance but ugh, I hate it when it, the trees rustle like that mostly because there's no animals other than a couple birds big tree Okay. <laughs> All right. Where is my kidnapper? Okay, what am I doing wrong? I'm not actually to the big tree, it says. Ah, oh, we need to go closer west. go east. So I don't sleep and play. Ah. 
Always the same button. How is that not the big tree? But okay. I'm not going that way. Okay. I did. I broke the game. That was the scariest thing I've <laughs> I've seen since uh, Layers of Fear. Just plummeting through the the earth. Um, that was fucking terrifying. <laughs> Ah, uh, what can I do you for? You. Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you, and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, in oh my god. Tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, alright. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Let me look at it and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a right. great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Okay. Well, that whole little ordeal woke me up and terrified me all at the same time. Ah. God, that is just so... I haven't had something like that happen in I don't even know how long. Right? I mean, who's to say they're not in my uh, tower right now? Be like, oh, what? What are they gonna go do? Um, man, can't believe I fell through the world. Pick it up. There you go. I fell through the world. Oh, thankfully it's just right here, but still. I'm kind of afraid to go back over there. I mean, I've seen the floating trees, sure. But damn. Oops. Okay, so west. Right? Yeah. All right, hopefully we won't plummet <laughs> this time. God.
My luck in glitchy games recently. I think it's just indie games, so. I mean, yeah, it's indie games, but indie games seem to have a um, bigger. This. Uh, Okay. So now I'm going east, yeah? Okay. Watch where you're going. So I fell through here, didn't I? Oh, I was supposed to radio, but over there. Oh. I mean, okay. <laughs> oh. Oops. Oh. Goodbye forever. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Tell me everything right now. All of it. You know what's going on, and you're gonna tell me right this minute. Why would you think I know what the hell is going on? I, I, I snuck out in the middle of the night and figured out how to get you a new, untapped radio because... Because what, I'm fucking with you? The most important thing, Henry, is that we don't turn on each other. Maybe it's a hidden camera show. Maybe... You're working for the government, and this whole thing is some sort of a program that you're part of. You're insane. Tell me you're not. Henry, I'm not. I need you to hear me. I care about you. That's not made up. It's real. And I know you've been through so much with Julia. But please, don't spin off into outer space. Something is happening, and it's happening to both of us, okay? Okay. Take a second, and then call me back. I don't know, are you? I feel like we need to uh, bring up the conversation I overheard while you're on the phone. Okay, I'm alright. I'm, uh, I'm headed to 
towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. Damn it, I can't not stop now. I thought it was going to be a trap and they were going to take me. And it was going to be full of aliens. And big feats. And now it's just probably full of dumb humans. And they're all sitting around playing wizards and wyverns. Wyverns. Very true. What? what is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Yeah. Oh shit. My thoughts exactly. Our radios were tapped. And now someone probably has a transcript that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Uh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Oops. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Really? <sighs> You're making scary noises, girly. I keep telling you... Oh, that's right. I fell through the world. I didn't pick it up last time. Okay. Well, I think I do need to call it good here. Um, this seems like a good stopping point. Save. And then tomorrow, I'll come back. We'll get captured. And we will um, figure out what's going on, and I'll be more awake. Uh, so yeah, but thank you all so much for hanging out tonight. Um, and huge, huge thank you again to everybody who hangs out and just spends their time here with me, watching me play stupid games and fall through the world. Uh, I just... Yeah, thank you, thank you. I, I hope to have good luck tomorrow. Um, but yeah, thank you for just hanging out, watching me play stupid games, and just just spending time. That's, that's huge. Um, so yeah, I will be back tomorrow, hopefully more awake, and we'll finish this and go into something else. But until then, y'all enjoy your Saturday, and I will see y'all soon. Thanks and bye. You guys rock.